All right, so good afternoon. So I wanted to share something with you. I was just in a little traffic for a moment, and uh, <clears throat> something just came to mind. So I wanted to share, uh, you know, a thought process, and particularly my parents. I know the first couple of seconds you'll really be able to identify. You ever go to your child, right, and uh, you're talking to them about something that they have not done, right, and they start going into um, what they have done, right? So you might have had chore A and B that did not get done and they start talking start saying well c d e and f and you're like okay i know you did c d e and f but i asked you to do a and b and actually a and b were probably more important than c d e and f even though c d e and f should have been done you should have been doing a and b and i think that, that it's so funny um if, if you haven't experienced it let me take that a step further for those of you who maybe haven't had children or hit that level yet so you ever uh have a conversation with yourself from a spiritual perspective, right? And so, you know, uh, maybe there's something that you know, might feel convicted that you should be doing, or maybe, you know, your spiritual advisor or your pastor, whatever, says, you know, you should be doing X, Y, Z. And you're like, well, you know, I know X, Y, Z is important and all, but at least I do A, B, C. Let me tell you something. You can have all the conversations that you want to. I'm telling you, your creator is looking at you like, yeah, I get it that you're doing X, Y, Z, but not only did I give you life, but I actually told you to do A, B, and C, and that's what needs to get done, all right? So where am I taking this? I want to, to speak to those people, particularly those who are married, but and I want to give those who are unmarried uh, a kind of look into, into the future, right? So, you know, I, I, those of you who do have a spouse, I want you to think about those times when you're having that those heated fellowship moments, right? And your spouse is talking to you about something that's of a concern or something that maybe they have been repeatedly asking you to do. Maybe Maybe there's a struggle that you have in a particular area and you have not gotten that done yet, right? And so when they're talking to you about A or B, right? And you start saying to them, well, you know what? Uh, you know, nobody's perfect and all this and that and blah, 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 right? And then you start talking about how you do C, D, E, 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 F, G, all the other letters. You can go from C to Z, right? Let me share something with you that, of a thought process that most likely um, uh, what we have been encountering um, with speaking with, 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 with couples, right? Um, your spouse cares about C through Z and they're happy that you do that and all this and that. But what they're thinking is, what did I tell you to do? What did I ask you to do? What have I been requesting for you to do, for you to focus on, for you to make happen? And so you're sitting up there saying, well, I'm giving you C through Z. And your spouse is over there saying, yo, like for real, that's nice, appreciate it. Need you to keep doing C through Z, okay? But I need A and B. And I need it stat. Like, I need that as soon as possible. Because if you don't, C through Z goes out of my mind. Or I'm not, you know, it, it, it's, it, it pulls at my heart, right? And I'm not able to um, uh, receive the fact that even though you do C through Z, that A and B is not being accomplished. And for a lot of us, that equals a love. For a lot of us, that equals a respect. And so then you're, you're noticing that you're having turmoil. And so I want to share with you that, um, uh, you know, I want you to think for a moment, all right, of what is your spouse requesting of you. And I want to, I want to ask you, you know, what, what, what are you actually doing to significantly go in and make this type of change. Now, let me give you a reprieve for a second, right? And this is where my unmarried people, I want you to see this. If you don't see that you are able to satisfy what your significant other is asking for you to do that you might not be working on now, get out, okay? Get out now, right? Because the only thing that's gonna happen, right, is that, you know, you're gonna go into this thing thinking that they're gonna change their request of you, right? And or you're gonna go into it and it might, it might even build some resentment in you because you're trying to make a change in a certain area and you really don't want to, right? So like my boy Trey Barnett said in my book, uh, uh, Understanding a Man, he said, if it doesn't fit, you must quit and get out of it. Get out of it, okay, for my unmarried people. Now for those of you, who are, oh man, that was a, you know, that was a good moment, okay. For those of you, for those of you, yeah, just like it said, boom, like shut it down, that's what you need to do, right? But for those of you, who, um, who are married, I do just want to ask you to really just give a bigger focus in a particular area that your spouse is requesting of you because it's not going to change. And you don't want to put yourself in a situation where that person is going to begin to build up resentment or even you build up resentment for being um, 
for being requested of doing this. So I'm asking you to maybe pick up another book, maybe pick up another seminar, maybe get some counseling, some coaching in a particular area so that you can evolve, right, into that area that your spouse is requesting. And most of the time, where they're asking you to, to grow at is something that's gonna allow you to become a better person, most likely. It's gonna put you in a level that you might be uncomfortable, that's understandable, but this is most likely something that you should be doing anyway. And uh, when you said I do, by the way, that's what you signed up for. So um, let's just give a little bit more focus into what you know our spouse or our significant other is asking for us to do. Um, let's do the due diligence in that area, and I promise you it will begin to yield a better light and a better understanding and probably better communication within your household. All right, take care. Talk to you soon.